Starting off with three dollar store vases. Love the colors and I really, I love the way the light shines through them. That makes it so pretty. So now I'm going to do some of um, Kelly's flowers on top of here. All right, so I'm, we're gonna just pretend that we're working on paper and I'm going to put down a black, kind of like a ch making like our own little like chalkboard on here. And even though I won't be able to see through it, it'll still just kind of make it an interesting place to put some artwork. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with a, a like a long rectangle on here. I'm not too fussy about placement. Um, I do have it sitting in another little jar here so that it won't roll around. And I'll let it dry on that as well. So, and it looks like I'm probably gonna need two coats. And instead of like trying to make it look like I've tried to make it straight, I'm going to go in and make it crooked on purpose. That way we will get the idea that we wanted a background here, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't like things to be absolutely straight and perfect. There, that's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me like a big leaf. I could even do that, make it look like a big feather. See, best laid plans. We'll let this one dry. All right, here's my next one. And I've up he this one here, I think I'm gonna come down with some marks. And I'm gonna show you a really cool thing that we can do with um, her printouts. We're gonna use a lot of the techniques that she had in class. So let's see, I can maybe move it over a tiny little bit more. I'm just making some like leaf shapes here. And I think I can hold it to finish it off here. It doesn't have to go on the little white jar to hold it. So let's see there. I can do here another one coming down. And there's room for one more. Just kind of eyeballing it because I want it to look artisan. I don't want it to look like I got it from Marshall Fields. Nothing against Marshall Fields, but I just want it to look like an artist made it. So let's see. That's good. And I could go down a little bit further, even it out. And once these dry, I'm just using a black acrylic apple barrel paint, good old background. So that one's gonna look cool. Can get some branches in there. And now what am I gonna do on this one? I think I'm gonna do the same concept, but let me dip it in my black paint here. Um, I think we're gonna come up from the bottom though. Let me see here. I'm using a big, big old wide brush. It's very, very fat. I don't even know what size that you would call this. It's painted over so much. But now that I went up with that, I can come up here with some other brush strokes. See, I just think if we just did the, the painting like right on the glass, that it would... Um, you just it wouldn't it wouldn't show up that much even though I do I like like a white line paint on glass I really I like that a lot like a when a painting in a window but this is gonna look so cool I mean anybody we're just playing with different shapes that's it easy peasy because when you're looking at a vase you're, not, you're only looking at one side, so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't match the other side. So now we'll let these dry 
and we'll come back to it in a minute. All right, they are pretty much dry. And so now I'm gonna come in here with the apple barrel with the orange and we're just gonna come in here again and just kind of make some little flowers on top of the black, some little flower shapes. And they don't have to stay on the black. You can go onto the glass a little bit also, it's going to give it that kind of, you know, the painted glass look is so cool. So I'm going to make a couple around here. We're going to use all colors on each one. So they're, um, they're all going to have kind of like a rainbow effect on each one of them. So... And I can come back in here and let this dry and give it a second coat. Let's see. There, that's gonna look kinda neat. I switched to a lot smaller of a brush and it's very firm and it, um, it says it's an Artify brush, and well, you can just see it's, you know, it's only about as big as my fingernail. Look at all the paint on my hands. <laughs> I am a very messy artist. There. Oh, that looks cute. Now, we want to leave room for the dots. The dots and the mark making that she's taught us. So... Not filling it in all the way. I'm using the brush to make to make the petals. It does it for you. You just lay it down. By the time I get over here to the other side, we've got some dry paint. So hope you guys can see that. There we go. So giving it a little bit of a second coat. Can we run these through the dishwasher? No. I don't even think that I would put them in the dish sink. These are more that you, they just kind of go in and, and um, wipe off, you know, with a little sponge if they get a little dusty. There, I might do like a little bit of a coat on the end of it with the, some shellac. So now I'm going here on my second coat already and I can see that. I really should wait until it dries a little. Like I said, definitely impatient. <laughs> so now what do I wanna do on this one? Um, I think I'll put the orange part down here just as like a mark in the middle. That'll look kind of neat. There, and since this is a yellow vase, um, I think I'm just gonna come in here with some dots going down the middle like that. pretty easy. This is not high tech. This is just an idea of taking your skills that you just learned and putting it on something else. You can make it. It doesn't always have to just be in something for in your journal. It can be in, um, you know, something that you want to make for home decor or you can make it for um, a little present for somebody. It doesn't just have to stay in your journal. Now I'm going to come in here on these bottom blobs here and make some marks here in the bottom, kind of like a calyx on the bottom of the flower. Easy. 
easy. I don't think I can do one on the bottom of each one of those because that would be too much. But I, I couldn't go up on there. That would just cover it up. But I can go and just make some like little, little skippy flowers around like that. That's going to look cool. I'll just do a couple little dots all over. There, that looks neat. Now I've got that on each one of them and maybe I'll come back here on this one and what else would I wanna do? Well, I think that's it for now. I'm good. Move on to the next color. All right, we're coming back again. We're gonna go with the green and definitely gonna put some green on top of this orange. I think that'll make it pop more. That'll look kind of neat. And I think like a little dot on top of that blue, because that blue on the black, once it dries, it was, um, was just a little bit kind of went in there a little bit that you could hardly see it. I'm going to make some faux leaves on here. Put that in the middle because my next color with the gold, that'll have something to show on it for sure then too. It's just looking so cute. Okay, this one here didn't really turn out looking like a flower that much, so I think I'm gonna come in here and make some nodules on the outside of it. There's no wrong, there's no right. Just playing and having fun. That's that's all. Nobody's gonna walk by and go, oh my gosh, that part there doesn't have a whatever, you know. So, and I think I'm gonna take my green here on the bottom. Didn't know if it was gonna be too see-through or not on this. And actually I'm kind of liking the way the green looks on the glass working pretty nice. I could come in here and do a little bit of that on top of it as well. Ooh, that looks pretty. You don't have to follow along with me at all. This is kind of just to give you some ideas. I'm going to do that over the turquoise. Oh, I love that. I love it, love it, love it. All right. And I think I'm going to do the same thing up here at the top. Just so that I have places then to come in with the white, the white dots. That's going to pull it all together. Cool. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So let me see. What can we do this on the pink one here? Can use now I can come in here on top of that. We're doing layer, layer, layer. I like flicking it because then it's 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 a very organic brush stroke on there and that's that's what I like. You can do that with almost any brush. If you just flick it. Just take a piece of paper and practice. Everything that's on there, I 
except for, I think I still need some marks here at the top. I'm going to give it like a little tutu skirt. Can you see that? Just a little tutu skirt of leaves along the top. That will look cool. I'm doing it up this way because so my brush hits it the right way. There, that looks cool. Neato, little tutu at the top. Here we have our third one. So I'm gonna go in here the same way. Now this green doesn't show that much on this yellow base. So if I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, listen to my birdies, they're always singing in my studio here in Wisconsin. We're waiting for spring to arrive and they think that it's spring already. There. Color on top of color on top of color. Something's not looking quite right. You can just give it some layers. There, I'm liking that. See, it looks like it was planned that way all along. Because we've got the turqu uh, turquoise blue behind it, the green has somewhere to land and that makes it sit, um, just sit on top of there and look really, really nice. All right, we'll let that dry, semi, and we'll be back with pink. Yay for pink. So we're gonna come in here with the pink and just make some little V marks. They kind of look like hearts. I like that. It could be a heart. It could be a just a little V mark on there. Easy. All of that things that we did on all three of these are all just marks that we made with with the brush. We're letting the brush do all the work. We're just holding it in place and pressing it down. I'm gonna give this one a little pink tutu on top. Easy peasy. We've got our little little marks there. That pink looks cute on there. All right. Come back to that one. Let's do this one here. Same. That works. You could think of them as little pink leaves, but there's lots of flowers that have a heart shape like that. You know, tulips do all kinds of things. And I'm going to come up here and make some pink at the top there. That's cute. Let's see here now. We could go some little pink marks on top of our blue. That looks adorable. And we got one left here, so we'll get that one done. And I think what I'm going to do is come in here and just do like some pink on top of the orange. Letting the brush once again make the mark. This is layer, layer, layer. I'll do some pink down here because we have the green behind it the pink really shows up nice okay. 
and uh, I don't know. I think I think that's good. I think that's good enough on that one. Always just go back and take a look around. I don't really plan it out. I'm just you know painting it like a little wild, a little wild flower farm field. I can go out and pick some flowers, but. We are going to put something really special in these vases. So that's that for now. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, last but not least, we're going to come in here with some of the shiny gold acrylic paint. And um, it's always a little bit um, like pudding, pudding like. So I kind of like to spread it around and stir it up a little bit. But now I'm going to come in here and we're just going to add some gold accents. Um, definitely going to do the top because that's going to just make it a little bit more elegant. And that instantly makes that look super cute. Whoops. See, it's very kind of drippy, this kind. Could also go in with a, uh, a paint marker if you want. So I'm just starting starting with that. That doesn't look bad. But now I'm going to come in here and hold the inside and going to kind of just like make some more little marks in here. The gold on top of this green is beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And just go slow. This is kind of like the last little just shininess. Oh, I'm loving that. It looks so pretty. I'm gonna do a little line in the middle of the V. Right there. Okay, twirling it around. There's a place I missed right there. Adding a couple of little lines in here where um, there was still some glass showing through. And I don't mind having some spots that are the original glass work coming through. But this is also a good opportunity just to find where it can be. Adding some shininess to it. Woo! That looks so pretty. Like I said, no one's going to sit there and walk by and go, hey, that doesn't exactly match the other side. It's just going to have an overall kind of a neat feeling to it. All right. So let's see what I'll do on this one. I'll do the same with like the V. Put a little dot in between that. Then it looks like really a, like a flower. And I'm going to do the top two. But again, but I'll do that last. So put them on there. And let me see, what, do, what else do I want to do here? I think I'll do some little gold on the back black. Just kind of repeating. Repeating patterns. I'm letting the brush once again do the work. And I did pink dots at the top up there. I think I'm going to go around, put them on the, the top here as well. They're more of brush strokes than they are 
dots. Put some on here. This, once again, the shinier paint that you can find as opposed to the um, one that is more dull, a dull gold. Um, I think that the shiny one will probably just look a little bit, a little bit better on this project. All right, here, going over again. Now, all the colors that we put on before this are all going to show through. So, this is just kind of like putting on the little bit of jewelry. All right, I like that one. Sorry for my arm. All right, let's come in here and add some shininess to that. Woo, that looks so cool. All right. Oop, got a little glob there. That's okay. We'll just work with it. Pretty. And I think I'm going to come in here and add some, some gold little feathers falling down here. These are kind of like remind me of like wisteria leaves, how they just like come down from the top. Like a little vine. coming in and doing a little little splooch right on top of there just adds a little bit of I don't know it makes it look kind of pretty I'm doing it some on the bottom of our pink at the top here it's hard to paint something that is vertical when your camera is horizontal but that's okay just adding some in here playing with the just the marks and now that i got both of those all done i'm going to go in and do the top here again that's gonna these dollar store vases are, um, you can see them there all time, kinds of the year. They always have like diff different colors of them. And um, so if I just make a little bit of a line at the top, it's just a little bit of gilding that makes it look cooler. There. Can even go down, down a little bit. Covers up the the part that um, you know you know that doesn't you don't want it to look cheap. This kind of just elevates it a little bit. Oh, I like that. That looks super cool. And a couple different um, coats of the gold. It dries super fast, but a, def a couple coats on there is going to even make it shinier. There we go. See that one? That one was from before. It goes pretty fast. So I'm going to take my extra little gold paint it's always fun to have a couple projects going on at once here's the roses and the 
cute. This will be fun just to keep some extra little paint supplies in there. Oh, see the gold just adds so much. She's right. So let me lay these all down here for you. And you can see how they are. And now the fun part comes with the download. Yay. All right, we'll be back in one second. So now comes the fun part here again. Um, in the class, we use the Doc Martens um, ink and um, I am stuck at home and don't have that. So I'm just using some acrylic paint, but we're still using the, um, the skewer that Kelly taught us to work with. So I'm just going to come in here with some white dots and I think having the white on here is just like really going to make it all like really cohesive. Um, that it's going to just tie it all together. So this is kind of the fun part. Um, sometimes if I have something the same on one side and something over here, um, I'll just go ahead and get them all done at the same time. And it doesn't really have to be like around a certain flower. It can just be like filling in the, the empty spots wherever you just kind of feel like it would be kind of cute. Have them walking up the side. Oh, I just, I love that. So let me see on here. I think on this one up here, I'm going to come in up at the top here. So this is just white acrylic paint. Um, I thinned it out a tiny little bit, but I really wanted it to be opaque. I want it to be so that you didn't so much see through it. I like that a lot. That looks cool. Now because these are laying on their side, I can only go a little bit at a time here. And I don't want to keep this too long. So, move that a little bit over there. I like that. And um, let me play on these a little bit more. And I think you can handle this. The white looks really pretty, even on top of the gold. Um, you can go on top your leaves, different areas, and um, around your circles. Just kind of filling in different spots. See, and you don't want it like all clumped in one area. Just see, you want it to be, like be taking a walk, a little bit of a walk. I've got big circles, and then if I turn it on the side a little bit, it gets smaller and smaller, and I think that looks cool, too. So I'll show you when I get back. <laughs> 